Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, if you want to add a filterable gallery or a gallery with filters in your WordPress website just like this, then you are watching the right video because in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can add a gallery, image gallery on your WordPress website, which also has filters through which user can navigate different kind of images or media files just on a single click. And this entire process is absolutely free. You are not supposed to purchase or require any kind of premium plugin of any subscription so let's jump into the computer screen and if you are new on the channel please do subscribe right now for more such useful video content so in order to add a filterable gallery or you can say gallery with filters, what you need to do is you need to come to your WordPress dashboard. Now you require two, uh, what you say plugin first is Elementor and second is an add-on plugin, which is called Royal Elementor add-on. So I already have both the plugins, but let me show you how these plugin looks like. So click on add new plugin. And in order to install Elementor, you just need to search for Elementor. If you search for Elementor, you will see this plugin that is five, 10 billion, million plus active installation. And the second plugin is to require is called Essential Add-ons for Elementor. So this is an add-on plugin which is useful in order to provide extra widgets as compared to the normal free version of Elementor and without requiring any pro version of Elementor. So you just need to click on install now. And once the installation is done, you need to simply activate it. 100 plus free widgets are available in this particular plugin and more of course in the premium version but as of now we will use the free version of both the plugins and by default once you enable it this will show you this 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 so you can go with the basic setup click on next all these things are there so make sure that you check box all the things and then click on next next and enable uh, you can also the, see the template but as of now we'll just skip it and of course we'll click on finish so once the setup is finished, now you need to come back to your WordPress website. Now choose any page on which you want to add this option. So I'm choosing the about us page. So let me just refresh because I have just installed and activated the plugin. So I have just, in, you know, refreshed my page once. And now from left hand side, apart from the free versions of free widgets of the Elementor, I get more widgets. So let's say I search for only filter. I only search for filter. Now you can say there is an option called filterable gallery, filterable gallery. This is not an option in Elementor, but it is on add on. So you can see there is a mark that is called EA that is Elementor add ons. So just select where you want to add this section. So I want to add here. So I'll just drag and drop this like drop like this. And as soon as I have dropped it, you can see there are, you know, the template cards available and you can see there are filterable items as well. Now we can configure this. So how to configure? Let's understand. So first we need to show the item. So right now it is six item that is three in a row. And if you want to change it, you can do that. So let's say if you want to show nine items, so it will be three rows and nine item will be displayed in a particular section. So animation duration grid column by default it is three grid column we can increase to four or maybe we, we can decrease to two also that is our choice so if you want to show nine so we maybe we can go with the four ones and item to show you can select it now grid style apart from grid there is another option mercenary then you can choose like this so based on your style based on your choice you can do that then the other option is layout overlap card or maybe the search like this. So there are different, different layouts, search and filters like this, right? If you, somebody wants to search only and then the image should be displayed, then this option is also there. But as of now, we will just use for the overlay or we can say the card. Then we have say button. So if you want to link these options or these pictures to a, some kind of a button, you can do that. Maybe media, none. Then title clickable. If you want these items title to be clickable, you can make them image clickable, show pop-up cap right so these are the options that you can control with your wordpress plugin now there is an option called filterable control now apart from all once you click on all of course all the images will be displayed now if you want to categorize the images based on some item or some kind of category then you can create filters so just click on filters enable filter yes now you can see there is a filter already created called gallery items you can create multiple filters by clicking on add new item by default if you see the gallery filter the name of the filter is gallery item and then you can see the custom id so one filter is already there you can choose another filter as well and of course we need to give the id as well but let's see 
first let's uh, I'll try to understand how this works so of course we will just keep it as it is then gallery items you can see enable photo view privacy mode display consent notice randomize gallery item name gallery item name right so these are the options that you can choose there is an option called load more button so if you want if you want to show more option then you can see uh, add this load more button so once the five or six images will be displayed then there will be a load more button and once somebody clicks on that load more button further details will be also did showed so this is the setting for that so let's just publish the page and changes and see what are the implementation that we have done and we will see accordingly so right now we can see there are six images six cards if we see gallery item gallery item now why this gallery item will not work because we have not provided any condition to that so we need to provide a condition that how the class will be working so we'll come back to the dashboard again and now if you go to filterable controls you can see here the gallery items you need to provide a particular custom id so that that custom id will be worked as the uh, what you say the images because the images will be controlled in that custom id only now let's understand how this filters will work if i click on any filter then accordingly the image should be filtered so for that i need to first name these filters so i will just click on filterable controls and i will give the first filter name at abc and i will also give the custom id as abc similar to that i will just go to this one and i will say xyz and the custom id is also xyz now the naming and the custom id is also given but how this filters will decide which image will be popped up when you click on filter so for that i have created the custom label abc and xyz so i will give the items accordingly so i will click on gallery items now for example the first image i want to show on abc so i will give the name as same as control name abc so this image will be popped up when abc filter will be triggered this will be let's say xyz and similarly i want to give on all the things so abc and maybe in the xyz so i have given controls of two images to abc filter and two images to xyz filter and in total we have six images so now let's just publish it come back to the dash uh, website again and then refresh it and scroll to the section now you can see in the all one two three four five six images are there in abc i have marked two images so as soon as i click on abc now you can see only two images are there which i marked as abc and once i click on xyz you can see the two images are changed because that these two images are those ones which are marked as xyz in terms of control so that's how you can create multiple filterable tabs and control the all items accordingly there are pretty interesting options also available that is load load more button right and other things also and you can also create let's say if you want to show the item enable price rating enable category there are plenty of options available and that too absolutely for free because there is no premium version required there is no pro version required to in order to perform this functionality so guys that's how you can add a filterable gallery or a gallery with filters in your wordpress website and of course you can add the images here so that it will look beautiful so guys that's it for this video i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye have a nice day